Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs, so enjoy this video. Make sure you come back every day. James is doing some fall cleaning by figuring out which books he uh, likes and doesn't like. And he also found a binky that he's never once in his entire life put in his mouth, ever. So, why not on a Saturday morning? Choose to. Nothing gets you in the uh, Halloween spirit like watching some Lizzie McGuire Halloween episodes on Disney Plus. What are you doing? What are you doing? James is a little uncertain about Lizzie McGuire, especially this episode. He's just nervously standing in the corner at a safe distance away from the TV, close enough by his mom to. Hide from creepy <laughs> monsters. All right, we are off on a walk in the neighborhood. There's a French market on Saturday mornings. We're gonna go pick up a baguette to go with our dinner tonight. I think Sarah's planning some kind of inyaki. And then we're just gonna see what else is going on at the market. Maybe grab a pastry, a couple of Joe, maybe. We shall see. I got both the kids with me. A little breezy, a little chilly this morning, but start to a great weekend, right? There we are. A little French market at Littlehurst Chicago Public School. We got our baguette. We have some additional fall colors going on in the neighborhood. It was a little too enticing to hang out and stay too long at the, the market because it is in the playground. So James was itching to go play. So we just got in, got out. And now we're just walking around seeing all the different colors of the leaves. We also made a pit stop over at Elevate Coffee over here on Halstead. Great way to start the day. Kids are still awake, still thriving. Kind of on the progress bar last year had a giant like 30 foot, uh, it's an exaggeration, probably like a 12 foot skeleton on top of their building. Maybe they just haven't put it up yet, but I was looking forward to that. Hello, I don't think I've been in the vlog much at all today, um, but I got, up the, I got up today's vlog and I'm gonna Peloton and then hopefully Jamesy will wake up and then we'll be able to get out. We took full advantage of the Prime deal days, um, and I believe this is the earliest we've ever started Christmas shopping ever in our existence. What are you two doing in here? <laughs> oh, are you so shy? <laughs> no, after his wake up. Apple nice. Berries, tomato, and mango. Wow, what a combo. I'm going to need a nap. Before they go bad. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. set up. Oh, Made a noise. It's recording. How does it look? It looks so good. Wow. Patty. Oh, that's a crisp baby. Oh. I'm making a bagel. Ooh. Teddy is his name and rockin' is his game. 
He loves this beach ball and he's super great. And he's super great. And he's super great. And he's super great. Bom 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 bom. Ah ah ah. Achoo! Alrighty, I am getting dinner situated. We're doing simple red sauce tonight. I started cooking up some onions. I put um, garlic in there, salt, pepper, and some veggie broth, and it's kind of already cooked up, so just gotta get, get put a little bit more in there. That way it won't get too, like, you know, like have that little burnt bite to it. Now I'm gonna add in these Italian style diced tomatoes. I wish I would have taken basil for my sister's garden. She had a ton the other day. Um, this will have to do. I'll also use some some basil seasoning. So added that in. Some garlic powder and then a decent amount of basil. Um, I want this to be like a nice rustic sauce. That's why I cut the the onions kind of bigger than usual. The tomatoes are nice and chunky. But I was hoping there would be a little bit more tomato juice, so I will add in some paste and some water just to make it a little bit more substantial. It feels good to be vlogging on something like this again. Um, the most important thing with sauce, I think, I mean, I guess it's like what I've learned from like when my mom described like her step-by-step -step of making sauce. And obviously this is not like our typical slow cook for three hour red sauce. Um, but it's just important to let each of the ingredients like do its cooking. So like those onions, like I really wanted to make sure that they were translucent and they soaked up all the flavor that they could. Now I'm going to wait for these tomatoes to, to bubble and to like, to get their flavors fully realized. Um, and then after that, once that's kind of bubbled and settled for a little bit, then I'll add in the paste. And basically like however much paste I do, I do like three times the amount um, of water. And I think I'm gonna do, I don't know, I'm kind of getting a little jazzy with it. I think I'm gonna put a little jardinier in it for just like a little bit of spunk. Um, and then I also think I'm gonna do like a splash of balsamic to make it a little bit sweet, so like a sweet and spicy red sauce. I have spinach and gnocchi from Aldi. I think I'm gonna make a salad, and then Peter got a nice baguette from the French market for us to just eat with olive oil. Alrighty, it's all in. I probably did a little bit too much water. I'm a little bit nervous it's not going to be thick enough, but that's like what the, what the cooking will do. Like, I'm not gonna let it cook for three hours, but I am gonna let it cook for a little bit. So I am going to bump the heat up just a tiny bit, get it to a nice boil, and then simmer it. Um, and that'll be our our simple rustic sauce. Last minute addition to dinner, I'm going to have these classic meatless meatballs from Aldi. Um, gonna cook maybe like 12 of them just to have it. It'll be just a little bit more filling for, for this dinner. The bag says just heat up some oil, put it in the pan and cover for 15 minutes, stirring often. So that's, that's simple enough. We build them blocks, build them towers. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hold on. I've got episode of Bluey's on. It feels so good to see this lens again. It's crazy because it's like it's the exact same lens, but it's built for a Sony versus a, a Canon. Um, oh, I'm being beckoned by James. Um, so we're not going to go to Open House Chicago today. Where we might go, just hang out in the neighborhood. Might go for a walk to some of the like the Cubs Park that we've been to before. Southport, maybe Sarah's fixing up dinner as we speak. Teddy went down for a nap now that James is back up. Just a great, relaxing kind of Saturday. I might get on the Peloton later and then might start running again tomorrow because now sights are set on Dopey. So that's what we'll be um, beginning. And it's, I don't plan on getting back to a gym membership so it'll be interesting to figure out running outside this winter or what we're gonna do there or combo of running outside with the Peloton, but we will make sure to bring you guys along and update as those training plans go. Alrighty, here's our final product. The sauce is way more soupy than I would have liked. We also added chickpeas, I added a little bit of flour in there, jardinier, balsamic vinegar. It's got good flavor, but it's just a little bit more soupy. Um, again, it's spinach and gnocchi, got the meatballs. The, the table's a little bit of a mess. Pump, phone, 
nonsense. Um, but we also have bread and olive oil. I didn't make a salad because we only had spinach. Let's eat and then we're gonna go out, get some fresh air, walk over to Southport. Have a good night. Pims did not nap. Very short. Very short nap. Safe to say. Dinner was a success. The sauce really actually turned out lovely. And Jamesy's like getting every last <coughs> bit of it. All right, we've made it out. <laughs> James is looking up at helicopters and planes. <laughs> He's calling them on his hand phone. <laughs> it's really chilly out. It's really chilly out. We're trying not to say it's cold. It's like, chilly. Yeah. Next weekend is going to be nicer, so it's not mm. like it is. I think Thursday the low is 31. <gasps> Which technically could be snow if it was moist out. Um, but look at this little one. And he's ready to go. And he's ready to go. We're all ready to go. It's sweet to stay. Let's get a sweet. Oh, yeah. So we are on Southport. We have no idea what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're meeting up with our friend Jenna from yes. ACS. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get something sweet because it's actually sweetest day. Happy sweetest day. Me too. Um, we're just know. gonna like pop in and out. Like things might be closing soon. Yeah. We knew it that it was gonna feel be. feel like the weekend to me. I don't know why. Because Thursday we went to your sister's, Thursday felt like Friday, and then Friday didn't feel like Friday, but it was Friday. Yeah, and today like... feels like it's midnight already. <laughs> right. Feel weird. So we're just gonna enjoy. We're gonna cruise, maybe go in a couple plant shops, maybe in anthropology if it's open. <gasps> oh, I forgot that that's here. Yeah. So we'll see. see Alright, since we're losing sunshine, we decided to come into this another Cubs sponsored playground. And Jenna's with us. Hi. Jenna. <laughs> Jenna from ACS. That's why we say Jenna from ACS because Jenna's also Sarah's sister, but not this Jenna. Another Jenna. So we're letting uh, James burn some fuel before the sun goes away. And Jenna. And Jenna. Even though Jenna was at an ACS event this morning. Like Whoa, you see her up there? Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't understand this. Am I doing it right? James is concerned. <laughs> it's concerning. <laughs> Since we're with Jenna and we are in our Disney World feels because we always are together, we're gonna go to Anthropology and pretend it's Disney Springs. All right, here we're, is where we're going. 5411 Empanadas. They have savory and sweet empanadas. So this is where we're going for some sweets. I might sneak in a savory empanada, but this is what's happening. All right, so Peter got these little sweetie treats. First dark chocolate alpha. Alpha Jor, Alpha Jor. I don't know how to say that, but it looks really, really yummy. And this one is guava. And he's just relaxing. I swear, any day now, he's gonna pop a tooth through. He's been so teethy. He enjoyed delicious empanadas. Jenna, have you ever, ever been there before? No. You said no, really right? Good. Yeah. I really liked it. Right next to the music box where we had Jamesy's first birthday party. Can you believe it was like. Yeah, that flew by. Um, so we're gonna produce more. Oh, I'm gonna go by the deli next door because I'm gonna look at the menu real quick. We're home. Jim's just scoping out what toys he wants to play with before we give him a little soak. He's got a little bit of a uh, bum rash going on. You have lots to say. And uh, Teddy over there is talking of a storm. Did you hear that? That was a bird. Oh. Look at Evie Evie girl. Evie. You okay? Ooh. You got all this pent up energy from being alone. Girl, you were alone for like an hour and a half, two hours tops. But she just loves us. She's used to us being around all the time. Want to go in the bath? Boop. <laughs> Boop. 
Ayo. What a day. Kids are asleep. It's late. Plans are kind of in movement for tomorrow. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.